the Chicago Bears are looking at day two quarterbacks. Is this the right move for them? Let's talk about it starting now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page because we do talk Chicago sports weekly and we don't want you to miss a thing. So make sure that you hit that bell. Now, the Chicago Bears, as we know, are in desperate need of quarterback play. Um, they made a splash signing uh, with Andy Dalton, if that's the word we want to use for it. Uh, and so, but th that's just for this season. That's not moving forward. They want to find their guy of the future. And according to Dan Wiederer of the Chicago Tribune, uh, they are not looking in the first round for that. They're, in fact, looking at day two quarterbacks as their options. Guys like Kyle Trask kind of moving forward, which is interesting. It's interesting because to me, if I'm looking at this Bears team, I'm saying, okay, we need a ton of help. You absolutely need offensive line help. And so if you're gonna use that first round pick on the offensive line, I'm here for that. But now uh, the, the Bears have a, a good amount of picks, but many of them in the sixth round, I believe four of them in the sixth round. And you now have to address the uh, the, the fact that Kyle Fuller is no longer in the building. You're gonna have to address that in the draft as well and try to get younger on that defensive side of the ball now if you're looking in the first round to me the question the biggest question is is it worth it to trade a portion of that capital that you were willing to risk it all for Russell Wilson to try and get up to one of these higher picks now it's gonna be hard it's gonna be much harder because I think the teams um, even with a known commodity are, are much more protective of their draft picks because that can turn into a a franchise player that that is young and already ready to go you know what I'm saying and so I think the teams are a little bit more protective of it but with the package that the Bears offered for Russell Wilson if you were offering something not to that degree but maybe picks wise similar if you saw somebody in the first round that you felt was a game changing player should they make that move should they go after that guy that's kind of one of the questions that I have um I mean, you're not going to get up to Trevor Lawrence, but is there somebody else in that first round group of quarterbacks that you feel can be not Trevor Lawrence level, but still a franchise quarterback for years to come? That's that's kind of where, where I'm at with it. Um, but the fact is, uh, according to Dan Wiederer, they're looking in the second round. Now, before I continue with the video, I want to know you guys' opinion. Do you like that the Bears are waiting till the second round to go get uh, their next quarterback of the future let me know in the comments below i'll be down there talking with you as well and as far as that quarterback of the future you're looking at names like kyle trash from florida kelly mon from texas a&m Jamie Newman from Georgia, Ian Book from Notre Dame. Those are kind of those second day guys. Um, Trask intrigues me, but I feel like if you're getting Trask, you're getting another project. But again, a, a lot of these guys are, are projects at this point in the game. And that's why the question comes in, uh, is this the right move? Do you want to begin another project? I believe that you need to take a quarterback. I believe that you need to take uh, kind of that that old school Packers philosophy of draft a quarterback every single season until you get the position right. And guess what? They did it twice. And in a 20 year span, oh, 20, you know, 30 year span, they've had the quarterback position right. And so I think that the Bears really need to adopt that model anyway. So I don't think you can leave this draft without drafting a quarterback. Um, but to me, are, are any of these guys the guy of the future? I don't see their name. Kyle Trask, maybe, maybe. Um, but I don't see any of those names as guys that are going to be world beaters for the Bears to come. Um, and so I think that this is just the beginning of a process to me that has to be draft a guy every year. We cannot take the same approach that we took with Mitchell Trubisky with whatever guys coming in here. Yes, we're drafting you now, which means more than likely Nagy and Pace are going to get a, a ton of extra time to do uh, the job that they feel they need to do. Like, I I can't imagine you're going to let these guys draft the quarterback of the future and you're not going to let them develop them. So I'm assuming that Nagy and Pace are going to be around here for a while now. And so to me, this has to be the beginning of, OK, we're drafting somebody every single season. We cannot take the approach with Mitch where we drafted him and then we never drafted anybody else because we couldn't have him scared for his position. Oh, but we can go get Nick Foles and we can go get name the backup quarterback, Chase Daniels. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that doesn't happen 
help anybody. You're, you're adding coaches to try and make that quarterback better, but that quarterback was not good enough for you and you had nothing else in the pipeline. So we can't go down that path again. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Bears do on day two of the draft in that second and third round. But I could absolutely see them uh, picking a quarterback in that second round uh, and, and seeing if they can develop him and work with him. But that, that can't be the end of it. That cannot be the end of it. We have to continue to, to get guys in the pipeline, continue to develop them. Because look, even if you do find the guy this year, right? Say Kyle Trask does end up being our franchise quarterback. Don't stop drafting quarterbacks every year because you know what the Packers were able to do once uh, they, they had Brett Favre in place. But you know what? They turned Matt Flynn into a capital. They turned guys into capital. They turned Kurt Warner into capital. There's guys in there that you can find that you can turn into capital and it can help you in future drafts because the quarterback position will always be a coveted position. Think about Jimmy G with the Patriots. You know what I'm saying? That He was a backup and they were able to get something for him. So the Bears have got to draft this thing until they get it right. But I want to know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about the Bears. Kind of more so looking at the day two quarterback instead of making a big splash on day one. I'll be down there talking with you in the comments as well. To continue watching our Chicago Bears content, click the links here or check the links in the description below. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Peace.